Now in this lesson we introduce similar figures. Similar figures have the same shape but usually different size. If you consider this shape here, it's a triangle. The three angles are marked. The second triangle, same three angles marked, so that means it has the same shape but obviously the second one is a little bit bigger. What about this rectangle? Sides are five centimeters and three centimeters. Well this larger rectangle would also be similar. The sides are 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters. They're in proportion, okay? Those sides have simply been doubled. Now, if we consider similar figures, in similar figures, corresponding angles are equal. So let's say those three angles there are marked. We would find if the other triangle is similar, that would have the same three angles, okay? Those are corresponding angles, they're matching angles. Also, corresponding sides are in the same ratio, often referred to as being in proportion. So let's say that first triangle had sides as marked, and let's say one of those sides was 15 centimeters. So you can see what the matchup is. The 5 centimeters matches up with that 15 centimeters, okay? It's in corresponding positions, and it has been, the lengthwise, multiplied by 3. So if that's been multiplied by 3, we'd find that all the other sides would be multiplied by 3 as well. Okay, that's what is meant by the sides being in the same ratio, okay, in proportion. Examples. We need to find x given that the shapes are similar. Well, the sides are in proportion, so let's match up the corresponding sides. The x matches up with the 15, so we're going to write x over 15. The 12 matches with the 18, so we write that it equals 12 on 18. So there's our equation there. We need to solve that. Let's rewrite it, trying to find x. At the moment, it's being divided by 15, so let's multiply both sides by the 15. On the left-hand sides, those 15s cancel. So therefore, x equals, and 12 eighteenths multiplied by 15 works out to be 10. So there we have it, x equals 10. Our second example, we need to find x given that the shapes are similar. Well, this time, the triangles are overlapping. We can see the smaller triangle there. Let's write that out separately. Overlapping on top of the larger triangle. Again, let's write that out separately, noting that how did we get 15? Well, we got it from 10 and 5, adding those lengths. Now we can say that the sides are in proportion. So the x, which one does that match up with in the other triangle? It obviously matches up with the 20, so we say x over 20. And the other matchups are 10 and 15, so we write that it equals 10 over 15. Now, let's rewrite that because we're going to do some cancelling, trying to find x. At the moment, it's being divided by that 20, so let's multiply both sides by the 20. On the left-hand side, those 20s cancel each other out. So therefore, x equals, and when we calculate this, 10 fifteenths multiplied by 20, we get 13 and one-third. Excellent. So that concludes our lesson, our first lesson on similar figures. Good luck with your questions.